What's up ladies and gentlemen and welcome to this POV review by Autotop NL. My name is Max and today we are taking a look at another viewer's car. This is Jay's BMW 335i X-Drive and it is a 2012 car which means that it is a facelift, an LCI 3 series. But it is not just any 335i because this is an edition exclusive which has a couple of very cool specific options. So today I'm going to show you around it. We'll talk a bit about what the edition exclusive is. And well, just driving a 335i is nice anytime, of course. Uh, after that, we'll take it for a drive towards the Autobahn where hopefully it won't be snowing, which it was doing like 30 minutes ago. You can see the darker clouds there. Uh, so we'll just hope for a little bit more sun. So one of the most special things you get on an edition exclusive is the color. This is mineral gray, and it is a color that was not available on the E90 series, three series, because uh, I think this is like an F30 color. So it was introduced after this model was discontinued, but you could get it on this version which is also why in the netherlands this car was called like the mineral edition or something like that uh, because of the color mineral gray very nice color and it is combined with a couple of accents like this bumper insert down here in this light gray and also these mirror caps in oxide silver and then it is combined with these brushed aluminium window surrounds which is very nice i really really like the spec of this car i think it looks very clean the edition exclusive also got 18 inch wheels painted in space gray but the previous owner chose to install these z performance wheels behind that we've got the standard 335i brakes and wrapped around that we've got these hankook ventus v12 evo 2 tires which are brand new nice tires and at the rear we've got a nice little goodie as well this car used to be a demo car at bmw at the headquarters i think so it has the bmw performance exhaust which gives you a little bit more sound and this car also had another little upgrade which is the ppk or performance power kit you can see the sticker right there, BMW Performance Power Kit, uh, which means that the power from this N55 3 liter inline six with a twin squirrel turbo goes from 306 horsepower to 320 and 400 to 450 newton meters of torque, which is very nice. That is a healthy upgrade. You also get a little burble in the exhaust with this power kit. And they also try to make sure that uh, reliability and fuel consumption were not affected by the tuning. Uh, so you also got an extra radiator and bigger fan blades to uh, improve cooling. But the dark clouds are coming, so we are going to hit the road. Now, another little upgrade you got in this car is the addition door sill insert. And as you can see, it is brand new. So this car has been taken care of well. Uh, we've got M Performance floor mats, but this car also got uh, different floor mats with piping. Nice bamboo grain anthracite interior parts, which is very nice as well. And then uh, the interior is black leather with white contrast stitching for this edition as well so you get a couple of nice things but i really like the fact that uh, now that i know this thing exists you kind of recognize the fact that it looks quite special especially from the front with those oxide silver mirrors and those inserts in the bumper it definitely looks like a special edition which i really like So, driving the car, we've got a nice steering wheel with perforated leather and a bit of Alcantara. It is a thick wheel, uh, but we do have the nice pedals behind the steering wheel. Uh, this is a ZF six-speed gearbox. The E92, E93 cars also were available with a DCT seven speed, but not when you had X-Drive. This car is an X-Drive 335i, so you get a six speed ZF. Uh, but this car has XHP software on the gearbox, 
so that improves the shifting a lot uh, which is actually something we can also do for you so uh, if you have a BMW and you would like your gearbox tuned send us a DM on Instagram and we can help you out with that so driving I mean this N55 is such a sweet engine it it's quite rev happy although I have to say that power kind of runs out after like 6,000 rpm but it's very happy to rev and it has a bit of torque down low which is nice I think max torque is available from like 1500 rpm um, which is funny because if you compare this to an M3 of this generation the E90 E92 That's a nice sound. Now this car actually, because it has the PPK, the performance power kit, it has 50 Nm more than stock, but also 50 Nm more than an M3 E92, which is nice. I mean, in the real world, this car will be, I think, almost as quick as an M3, because you have that torque low down. And the M3 with that V8 naturally aspirated, it's, it's lacking torque a lot. And it's also never producing the power BMW says. And this car is producing a little more than they say. So they're closer in reality than you might think. Some burbles there. And they're not always there, which I like, the burbles. So it's not too repetitive. So let's hit the Autobahn. It is a bit wet, so have to take that into account. Now, funny thing is that this car, I mean, you could get it in, in all different colors, of course, but the mineral gray was specific to the edition exclusive. But if you had an E93, so convertible 335i exclusive edition, you could also get like a two-tone car. So a different color on your roof, and uh, uh, another one on the body, which is kind of weird. I saw a picture of it. I kind of like the weirdness of it, but I'm not sure it's actually good looking. So the sound is that typical six cylinder sound, of course. We do have a bit of wind noise here. you can feel that you know 320 horsepower it's a nice amount of power but it will run out of breath after like 250 and it will go on to a top speed of 260 kilometers an hour GPS which I think we're getting close to, uh, and that is a limiter. So it might run a bit faster than that, but if you take off the limiter, but I don't think it will be a lot more than 270 kilometers an hour. Now, the car itself feels really good. It feels solid. I quite like this particular one. I think it, it's the best E-series, uh, three series we have driven. It has done 103,000 kilometers and Jay bought it from the first owner after BMW. So that guy did like 100,000 kilometers with it and then Jay bought it, which is, you know, that's nice. You can feel that the car has been taken care of well. And I mean, it just looks really good as well, inside and out. Gold multi-link suspension at the rear, McPherson at the front. So just a very solid setup, and I mean, especially with that X-Drive system, you know, it's it copes with that power very easily. And 
that. Of course, this engine has won a lot of awards. It's a really, really good engine. So, uh, pretty much the best E92 3 Series we've driven, I think. And I'm including M3s in that, but they, but the ones that we drove didn't feel as fresh as this. And I think they might actually be a bit underrated, these E92 335i's, because you know it's not a mega, mega fast car, but it is very nice. It's smooth, it has enough power, and it rides well. So Jay, you've got an amazing car here, congrats. Uh, to you guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. You can subscribe by clicking the big button in the middle. You can also check out this video on the right or this playlist on the left. See you the next one. Bye.